Greetings from ITU headquarters in Geneva, where I'm very pleased to be joined by Seishi Tsugawa, the chairman of ITUT Study Group 3, which looks at the economic and policy issues relevant to international communications. Mr. Tsugawa, thank you very much for joining us. You're, it's my pleasure. Uh, could you perhaps give our viewers a brief introduction to uh, the history of Study Group 3 yes. and how this work has evolved over the years? Uh, so everybody knows that uh, uh, ITU was founded in 1865. And uh, at that moment, uh, the progress or development of the telegraph network was so significant in e European continents. And uh, uh, many countries had to uh, negotiate bilaterally uh, their uh, settlement account, etc. Uh, but uh, as the number of the countries who offered this telegraph service increased, it was very difficult to uh, to uh, to continue this bilateral agreement. So uh, the founder of ITU uh, got together in maybe in Paris and decided to set up uh, one international organization uh, to settle uh, not by bilaterally but multinationally. Uh, so I th and also uh, for uh, in terms of the stable three. Uh, the, it's one of the main job is to uh, assure the smooth operation of uh, settlement account, etc. Right now, uh, so I'm totally sure, uh, convinced that uh, Sedgwick Three inherits significantly uh, the founders' uh, dream to set up uh, international organization like ITU. So uh, I'm very proud to say that. Uh, uh, I said it three is always uh, trying to fulfill the founder's dream. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've seen the financial dynamics of the ICT sector change very considerably mm -hmm. in recent years with the shift to packet-based communications. Right. How has this affected uh, SG3's work? Uh, how does uh, how does SG3 deal with these changes? Yes, of course. Uh, and to uh, a certain period, uh, our main job was to, as I said, uh, how to settle very smoothly the international account on the settlement, etc. Uh, but because of the uh, development of IP technology, uh, our activities expanded significantly. And for example, uh, the during the last study period, uh, we have spent a lot of time in setting up uh, or uh, coming up with uh, uh, recommendations about international roaming. So inter this, these two uh, recommendations were uh, really the first trial in the, in, in the world uh, to guide uh, effectively the international roaming activities. So we are very proud to that achievement. It's excellent to hear. Mm. And um, I wonder who are the stakeholders that need to participate in study group three. Uh, it's not technical group in the way that other study groups are. Who comes together in study group three and how do they find common ground? Uh, it's a very good question. Y you know that uh, in ITUT we have 11 study groups and among them uh, study group three is only one study group uh, which has a uh, economic and policy issues and uh, other study groups handle all technical issues, so it's only one study group, that's uh, study group three, handles that issue. So its uh, presence is very, very unique. Mm -hmm. mm. And we're seeing, uh, we're seeing increasing participation from developing countries. In mm -hmm. fact, developing countries mm -hmm. have always been very interested in this work. Mm -hmm. What is the importance of uh, SG3 to developing countries? Oh yes, uh, I would like to draw your attention uh, to the fact that uh, we, study group three, uh, created very early in the very uh, long time ago uh, regional groups okay and the beginning from Africa and Asia and Latin American con and uh, uh, s uh, uh, European countries and uh, uh, some uh, uh, Russian the, the country close to Russian etc uh, so with these, uh, this presence of original groups, uh, we can find very easily uh, the development countries' needs uh, because 
these uh, regional groups are located more closely to the end users than a uh, parent group uh, as study group three. So we, with this presence, uh, we know uh, particularly the real need of the developing countries need. So I would like to emphasize, emphasize the existence of uh, regional groups. Excellent. And um, perhaps as we, as we close off, uh, mm -hmm. are there any other issues that you'll be dealing with over the next four years that perhaps you'd like to highlight? Uh, yes, uh, for example, we are now uh, looking at uh, many uh, advanced technologies such as uh, big data and uh, uh, I, uh, I, uh, and uh, digital identity, etc. Uh, so we, we have just started. Uh, we are now currently uh, holding the first meeting of the Serving with Three and uh, uh, many views are expressed about handling those new, uh, newly created issues. Uh, so we, w we have still four years, so we are now in the process of getting the, the common image about those new technologies among Serigo 3. Mr. Tsugawa, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much indeed for having, for having invited me to this interview. It was my real pleasure. Thank you very much.